everyone after vacation is over and a short hiatus from recovering from said vacation i'm back so good to see you all again uh i have been banished to my room because emmy said she needs to clean some more and apparently i am a distraction when she is trying to get chores done so uh we're gonna stream I thought we were going to do Hogwarts Legacy, but I forgot to charge my controller. And uh, as we've learned, the controller doesn't charge while we're playing, so I couldn't play PlayStation games. So that left this or Genshin Impact. So I decided, ah, there's a new Warzone update. We can go play some of the new Warzone stuff, right? We're going to go to Ashika Island and test out the new guns, play the new mode, Resurgence mode. Just doing fun stuff today, so. So glad you all could join. Thank you, thank you. There is a new, there's a couple guns that I really want to unlock. Uh, Gert's here, welcome in, Gert, welcome, welcome. Uh, there is a crossbow they added, and the crossbow was my absolute favorite gun to use in the previous Modern Warfares, especially with like explosive tips. It just, I don't know, the, the way it made people rage, I have to unlock the crossbow, so I gotta unlock the crossbow still. Uh, tomorrow is Lent, yes. Uh, tomorrow is going to be uh, the day that Lent starts. Sorry if you can hear that background noise. Uh, Emmy had to vacuum a little bit, so hopefully that'll be done here soon. I am going to be doing Lent, so I've got... I've got quite a few things picked out for Lent, and I'm going to try and do them all, so it's going to be tough, but here's all what I'm doing for Lent. Uh, I am going to try and not spend any money, except for things that are absolutely necessary, like gas, food, that sort of thing. So no spending money. I'm going to try and read the Bible for at least an hour a day. I'm going to try and do a half an hour of prayers. Uh, I'm going to fast. I'm going to try and do one or two extra fasts a week. And... I think that's it. I think that's all the challenges I've set for myself. And I think that's going to be a fairly, fairly large goal. Of It's a lot of God that I'm going to try and squeeze into my day that's already packed full. But, you know, it's supposed to... It's supposed to bring me closer to God, right? And spending more time with God is what's important. No meat on Fridays. I uh, I actually don't eat meat on any Fridays. Not just during Lent, but uh, just in general. I, I don't eat meat on Fridays. I'm one of those old school Catholics who keeps the tradition alive, even when we're not required to. So, yes, no meat on Fridays, extra fasts, all sorts of stuff. We're going We're going big on this one. One Lent I tried to give up anger, and let me tell you, that was a really, really hard one to try and do, was just not get angry at anything. I failed that uh, pretty, pretty bad. Uh, last year's Lent went pretty good, though. I tried to reduce my spending, and that went really good. And I tried to incorporate more prayer, and one of those lasted, and that's the prayer we do at the end of streams, so... Uh, do Catholics have to do that? No. Technically, you only have to fast during Lent, but it used to be that you would fast a lot more, and I I like that, so um, I've kept that tradition alive, but by no means is it required. It's just a little extra thing that I do. Do I eat any meat tomorrow? No. Tomorrow is a day of fasting and abstinence as well, which means no meat and reduced intake of food tomorrow as well. So, um, yeah, tomorrow will be the first first real challenge of the day. Also going to mass? Yes. Uh, going to mass tomorrow. Uh, I would like to... I, when we go to the, the Mass, we're obligated to, of course, once a week. I definitely would like to do more daily Mass. But what I've seen, like, most people, when they when they implement, like, daily Mass, it's around their work schedules. 
And considering I'm at work before churches are even open, the only way I could possibly do like a daily mass, I think, is after work. But I'm pretty sure most daily masses happen somewhere around like noon or such. So I, I don't really think, uh, don't think I'll be able to do a daily mass. You mean on uh, another, like adding another mass to doing like a Saturday night mass and a Sunday mass? I don't know if I'll do that. I do know some people have done that. Um, I don't know. It, it's the same mass, you know? So, not that I want to say it'll get boring, but I don't want to do the same mass back to back. So, and I've got plenty of other stuff I'm, I'm packing, packing it full of, so I don't think I'll add that one on top. And confessions? I do try and do... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. He's barely got me. I try and do confessions once a month. That was uh, when when we were first going through RCIA. That's what our um, one of our assistant directors recommended was uh, confessions once a month. And that seems to be pretty, pretty good so far from what, what we've done. So I think I'll, I'll keep up with that for now. I definitely know there's people who do confessions more, but there's like that that line between where am I being scrupulous and where am I, you know, being too hard or too lenient. So one month seems to be seems to be the sweet spot for that. Uh, Saint Gemma also do Lent. I I imagine so. I imagine most of the the saints adhered to Lent as much as they could. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I forgot about the zone. Well, that was that was bad of me. I'm just warm enough, though, right? Doesn't count. <clears throat> is Lent focused on God and also the saint? So Lent is supposed to be a season of preparation it's it's the, the 40 days of lent is to mimic jesus going out into the wilderness and fasting for 40 days and 40 nights so it's it's preparing for the resurrection it's preparing for the coming of christ which means we prepare our bodies minds spirits all that to adhere to the coming of jesus the coming of god so i i don't know that it focuses much on the saints. I really haven't heard of much about saints in Lent because it, it's solely supposed to be putting the focus on preparing for God. So it is it is supposed to be a hard and intense season, but also fruitfully rewarding if you manage to get through all the challenges. I was actually going to make a video first thing tomorrow to put up for Lent. You know, a lot of people feel like when they do Lent, they'll make all these, you know, grand gestures like, oh, I'm going to give up all this stuff. And then, you know, day three comes and they're like, ah, eh, that's too hard. And then they just give up. You know, even if you fail, like, you just ask for forgiveness and, and try again, right? Like, that's, that's just like everything else we do with God, right? You messed up, you say, you know what, let me brush the, the dust off, get back up and do it again. So... You know, don't don't give up on Lent even if you fail the first day, the second day, the third day. You know, you just gotta gotta keep going, right? Was Lent harder in the past? I imagine, like with most things in life, it definitely was harder in the past, uh, without a doubt. You know, there was a lot more. Well, just it, you know, I don't know if hard's the right word, but in general, like there used to be like sixty days. I think it was like sixty holy days of obligation. A lot more days of fasting, something like 68 days of fasting uh, and abstinence. Like, there was there was a whole lot more. And I understand why they're making the changes that they've made. And I definitely like that it's more inviting for people. But there's also something to say, you know, upholding those traditions. And that's why, like, when, when Friday comes around, even if it's not Lent, I don't eat meat on Fridays. Because that's how the Christians in the past did it. And there's definitely something to be said about learning to learning our faith from our early church fathers the 
the ones who came before us and really trailblazed the path for us, right? So who better to teach us to be Christians than the early Christians? So looking and seeing what our desert fathers did before us can really help us to understand the meaning and, and what we're doing. Uh, can Lent go the whole year? I mean, the, the, the season of Lent, the actual, like, the season is a liturgical calendar year, so it can only go on for the days that it goes on. That, 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 that You can't have Lent outside of Lent because Lent is a liturgical season, so it's, it's on, on the calendar. That can't be changed. But can you do the things that you do for Lent? Any other time of the year? Certainly. I mean, that that would be a great practice to start learning those things. You know, I, I try and fast throughout the year. Uh, I did a, a fairly large fast for about 20 days. Um, ooh. Where'd he go? Dude disintegrated. What was that? Not only Christians do Lent, Muslims do Ramadan. Definitely, there are some other holy days and all um, obligations and things like that that uh, other groups do. Uh, for certain. Ooh, this guy's good. Ah, we're doing good. Uh, but I know that uh, those holy days may be different and have different. Uh, parts to doing it. I, I'm not uh, not familiar of what Ramadan entails and all that. Saint Gemma did Lent till Pentecost, Pentacle. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can definitely uphold and keep doing the things, right? Like I talked about doing fasting throughout the year is always a good thing to to add on. Uh, it's never a bad thing to draw yourself closer to Christ, right? Like that's that is something we should do all year. It's just that when the liturgical season is here, we try and put an emphasis on that growing and preparing. But it doesn't mean you can't do it throughout the rest of the year. It definitely is something you should should continue to try and do. There is such a thing as too much, though. Um, unfortunately, a man in Africa, I believe, died just recently. He he attempted to do the Jesus fast and fasted for 40 days and unfortunately died while fasting. So th there is such a thing as too much. Ooh. Well, his buddies are right there. Uh, can I talk about Lent uh, the whole year? Is it good to do on Fridays? I, I definitely think fasting uh, from meat on Fridays has been a good thing for me to practice. I um, I definitely feel like I've gotten some spiritual rewards from doing that. Uh, it's definitely helped to teach me a little bit of saying no. It's helped me to lose weight. It's definitely helped me in my spiritual life. So I think the no meat on Fridays is, is very good. Could I do, do no meat more than that? That I don't know. I did try and do, you know, like a fast for weeks at a time. And that started to, to really, really draw on me. But it's good to push yourself like that too, right? So. But the the fasting, you always got to be careful with. Like I said, that, that gentleman died fasting. So always consult a doctor before doing a fast. I am not a doctor. <clears throat> I also thought about this, uh, doing like a, trying to wear a rosary for 40 days straight, like not taking it off for anything, like wearing it to sleep, wearing it to shower, nonstop wearing my rosary. But uh, I, uh, I don't want to like get my rosary dirty, you know. I don't. I don't want to disrespect it by wearing it in the shower and getting it all wet, and then it gets gross because it's around my neck all day. And 
I don't know about that. Emmy was saying that I'm the only one that she knows who wears a rosary like this anymore anyways. I know it's popular in other countries, but certainly not a lot of people wear rosaries uh, in America unless they're gangsters. <laughs> Is Sunday not a free Lent day? Uh, so there's a lot of fighting that goes back and forth on that. Technically, yes, you don't have to adhere to Lent on Sundays, but some people choose to anyways. And I go back and forth on it. Like, there are some things that I will do on Sunday um, because, you know, it's Lent and all that. But if you're trying to break a bad habit, you're trying to build a habit, it's not very fruitful to to still indulge once once a week you know like if you're giving up smoking for lent for example then it's it's not helpful to to still smoke on sundays right like if you're, if you're breaking the habit you're trying to break the habit so that's usually what a lot of people go to when it comes to that the idea of i'm breaking this habit so i'm not even going to do it on sundays because this is going to be the one where i break it Asking St. Gemma to pray for you to give you strength for Lent. Definitely. Lent is hard. It, it should be hard. And this is something we talk a whole lot about on the forums. Uh, as I'm guiding, you know, trying to give advice and help people and all that on the Catholic forums. Is people get upset like, oh, well, why do so many people just give up chocolate for Lent? You know, they're not... They're not, um... You're doing enough, you know, they're not really honoring God by giving up chocolate. It's like, you know, everyone's everyone's in their own journey, so for someone giving up chocolate, that might be a huge sacrifice. But for other people, it might not be enough. You know, are you really spiritually challenging yourself? Are you really growing closer to Christ? Or are you just going through the motions because that's that's what you do, right? So that's something that only people can answer for themselves, but it is an important question to ask yourself. As you prepare for Lent. It's definitely okay to talk about Lent. Feel feel free to talk as much about Lent as you want. I I love talking Lent and religion and God and all that. I actually found another Catholic uh, streaming network. And I'm kind of getting to know them and hopefully... Hopefully they are good and I can share them with you guys and you'll have even more Catholic gamers to hang out with when I can't stream. But I want to vet them first. You know, I don't want to send my community to the wolves, so to speak. Do you want to be a monk? I... I admire the monks so very, very much for what they do. I don't think I could ever be a monk. Uh, I don't think I have what it takes to be a monk. And, you know... Married, so I don't think that was my vocation or calling. Mm, that's good. I'm which, again, is good for me because oh, I'm right not built to be a monk. I like to talk too much. I like to, I, I like to hang out with people. I, I unfortunately, I am still attached to the world in some ways. I like my camera. I like streaming. I like talking to you all. I like going online i like the forums and there's just a lot of things i wouldn't be able to do if i joined the monkhood and i know that's changing i know some monks have ipads and uh you know post on reddit and other places so that that might be changing a little bit as the world changes but yeah i, I don't think i'm cut out to be a monk <laughs> or a nun no i i cannot be a nun i, I would not be accepted in the nunnery which I am thankful for as well, because I don't think I could be a nun either. Alright, let's see if we can get around these guys. How am I not hearing this guy? Alright, we got... That corner behind you. Yeah. Your squad mate's back on station. Good work. Uh, let's see here. Catholics and Eastern Orthodox has monks and nuns. Oh yeah, lots of different religions have monks and nuns for sure. Um, what the fuck was that? Well, I think I think our group just went down. Yep, I went. 
I, I did do Buddhism for a little while before I became Catholic. Uh, it definitely wasn't for me, yeah. but uh, something I really appreciate that our RCI director kind of hammered home for us is that, you know, if you're Catholic, it doesn't mean you have to hate other religions. In fact, you can find beauty in God in most of the other religions. They just don't have the, the fullness of truth. But I, I can definitely appreciate being able to see other religions and and appreciate them for trying to find the truth, trying to find God, if trying to find the beauty in that. And definitely a lot of admiration for you know the Buddhist monks and the the six uh, with their I, I'm going to butcher this the Guadaharas Guadaras where they you know feed the homeless, where they they give people shelter, they do so much good for their communities. So a lot of respect for them. Do I know any monks? There is a really famous abbey in our state, the Mount Angel Abbey in Oregon, that um, is famous for their beer. They also have a, a, a world-renowned seminary. Uh, so we've gone there quite a lot. I've met quite a few of the monks. If you go on to my YouTube channel, uh, I did a interview with a couple of the monks there. And uh, we got to pray with the monks and talk with them about a lot of different things. So if you're interested in that, it's called What Makes Mount Angel Abbey So Special? And it's got about a 20 minute interview with uh, with one of the monks there, one of the brothers, which is absolutely wonderful. I enjoyed making that so much. There's a couple other monasteries around us that I want to do that with as well. Um, but they haven't returned my emails yet. Enough training. Now we Do you know a uh, monk's whole life there? Are years or longer? I, I, you know, it's it's different for every monk. Some monks spend their whole life at the monastery. Some monks, it, it's not a lifelong commitment, or you know, they they go there to discern whether or not they want to be a monk, and then they they decide right, that the they don't want to be monks. And they they drop out before that, so it's there's definitely a um, a range of monks, monks who've been there for a long time, monks who don't spend their entire life there. Is there internet as a monk? I like I said, I know that's hotly debated. I know the abbey that we went to does have uh, iPads, and some of the monks don't like that the other monks have iPads. Uh, so I know they have iPads and Wi-Fi and all that, so there are some that do, and I'm sure there's some monasteries that uh, absolutely do not allow that at all. And I can't say that I blame them, right? Like, what is a greater distraction from God than the internet? I mean, I, I literally couldn't think of anything more distracting. as I'm talking about God and playing on the internet. Oh my God, no. Man, that was bloody. Yeah, there are different orders. There's like the Carmelites, the Franciscans, the Byzantine. Uh, there's certainly a lot of different orders of monks. Uh, the monks near us are Benedictine monks. Order of Saint Benedict. There's another one outside. Out the front door. Front door. Front door. Front door. Passionists. I believe. Uh, not long ago, you were talking about the Passionists. That's the order Saint Gemma wanted to be a part of, right? So I remember you talking about the Passionists for a little bit. Just landed just on top. Ooh, my stream got laggy. What is up with that? No. All right, we need to uh, we need to find a better area to land in. My team's getting getting rocked here. Saint Gemma didn't use Wi-Fi. Definitely more power to her on that. That would be a hard 
I know some people are giving up like Reddit and social media for Guys, for Lint, but like, could you imagine trying to give up the, the internet like as a whole, like just flat out no internet, full stop for Lent. I there are a lot of hard challenges, and there's also a lot of things. I think I could do for Lent, but that would probably be, without a doubt, the hardest challenge. Which, honestly, might be a good reason to do it, right? If it's if it's a hard challenge, then you should do it, right? Like, that's, that's why I gave up TikTok, was because I was talking to Emmy about it, and I was like, oh, I just don't think I could give up TikTok. And she was like, well, isn't that even more reason to do it? If, if you don't think you could do it, like, isn't that a problem? And you're like, yep. You're right, so let's do it, and I quit TikTok cold turkey, and haven't looked back. But the internet, I, I don't know if I could do that one. Imagine if St. Gemma did Twitch. There will be... At some point, think about it. I know that my name's Saint Waffles, and I want to be a saint, of course, I want to reach sainthood. But <clears throat> there will be more saints, right? Like, someone will be canonized from somewhere in our generation. And there is a good chance that someone who is a Twitch streamer could very well be canonized someday, right? Like, that that is a real... That is a real possibility that... Um, we might someday have to face is who is the patron saint of Twitch streamers? Oh my god! And I think that's exciting and kind of fun to think about. But I also not lying if I don't say I cringe a little bit at the thought of you know the saint of Twitch streamers like. It seems like it's a little bit too far, but at the same time, it, it feels like a good thing so much. We, we need modern-day saints, right? We need saints who drink Coca-Cola and saints who watch movies. Uh, Blessed Carlo Atticus? Yes, he is hopefully going to be one of the youngest saints and one of the same most modern saints. Uh, dealing with the internet, he'll probably become the saint of the internet. So he might might very well be the the saint of Twitch streamers, which again it sounds wrong, but I'm I'm down for it. I'm I'm excited for the possibility of the saint of Twitch streamers. I, I do hope that I make it to heaven and sainthood someday, and I would definitely appreciate appreciate entrance into heaven. <laughs> I don't know if that's <laughs> is that the right words for to say I'd appreciate being being, being in heaven. Saint Gemma, in her time, I think there was already recording or making photos, probably photos at the very least. Like photography's been around since the what eighteen eighteen forties eighteen fifties, so. Probably without a doubt, photography at the very least. Yeah, she definitely had cameras in her lifetime. Video, maybe like slideshow picture, moving pictures, but not like, not like video we have here. I'd say not glorious video like you see on my channel, but it's still lagging like no other, so. Uh, I probably left Lightroom up in the background. That's probably the problem is I probably have one of my other programs running there in the background killing killing all the interwebs wish there was a video in her lifetime you know that that's definitely going to be a lot harder for everyone to come right like the the bar for sainthood is already so so high and i mean i'm thankful that the internet wasn't around when i was a really dumb kid you know i, I posted some really stupid stuff on Facebook back in the day, but like TikTok wasn't a thing, and a lot of the things that 
that are modern weren't there yet, so I'm thankful that my stupidity hasn't been immortalized for all to see, but the next generations and kids after that, like, trying to... trying to become a... trying to become a saint and trying to... to navigate life while you also have everything online and everything from TikTok just sounds absolutely awful. Uh, let me check. Do I have something else up here? I do not. My stream's looking a little choppy. It might be better now. Okay, it's looking better. Remember MSN Messenger? Oh, definitely. I I was one of the cool kids who had Trillium that allowed you to be logged into Yahoo, MSN Messenger, ICQ, uh all the all the different messaging services you could you could log in all at once with one so I could talk to everybody. I felt so cool having all those different messengers. But I'm definitely glad that we we have uh, what we have now. Uh, Discord. Discord is so much better than all those other ones were. I'm very glad to have Discord. Do you think we'll ever come a time again where we start over off internet, off TV, off radio? The only thing that would cause something like that is a huge apocalyptic event. And while there are certainly some days where I think, you know, it would be nice if we all lived in much simpler times and didn't have to deal with all this. Um, I have to assume that that happening would be awful for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people would would die. A lot of people would a lot of people would suffer. So I, I can't say that I hope for it to happen because I understand that it would be massively impactful for a lot of people. But it is nice to think about a world where you don't have to deal with all that. Big sun flare from the sun. I know a lot of people have talked about that. Oh, my game is choppy again. It is very choppy again. I don't know what causes that. Let's see if there's anything I can free up really quick here. Um... I might just have to start switching to a dual dual stream dual PC setup. Do you think time travel will ever exist? Well, the, the weird thing about time travel is if time travel has ever been invented, then it's already been invented, right? If if we can travel outside of time, then it's already been invented because time wouldn't exist at that point anymore. So I don't think so, because once it exists, it will always have existed. And the the only thing that we know of that's outside of time is God. And I don't don't necessarily know if we're supposed to have that power of God to exist outside of time. You know, do you know the Back to the Future movies? I know they exist. I have never seen Back to the Future. And I know that is a Enemy incoming. that's one of those. Cinema Sins, right? It's one of those movies that everyone's seen, but I, for whatever reason, have never seen it. Someday. I downloaded Raiders of the Lost Ark, so we are going to start Indiana Jones at some point. But there's still a lot of old movies I need to see. Like, a lot, a lot of old movies. But I've heard they're good. Or at least the first one is. I know that with any sequels, you start getting an, eh, maybe it wasn't as good territory, but... Will there also be new martyr saints? Well, I mean, people are dying for Catholicism and Christianity right now in Africa and parts of China, so there, there are new martyrs being made every single day in those parts of the world. So definitely... Definitely new martyrs and saints coming from that, though we might not know 
we might not know them by name, unfortunately. But uh, the, the persecution and all that is still very real. When I was trying to pick my patron saint, there was, uh, we got this big, big, uh, book of saints, and I was, I was just blown away by how many, how many martyrs there were. There's just so many. Astronomically amount. Would I die for Christ if I had the choice? You know, it's, it's very easy to sit on stream and say, well, of course I would, because I love God that much. But I... I pray that I have the, the strength if I ever find wind up in that situation, but I also pray that I never wind up in that situation. So I couldn't say for certain, you know, that I, I, I don't want to. There's a lot of people who have died for a lot of reasons. I don't want to invalidate their death. And just be like, oh, pff, they were wusses like I'm so strong. I could do it in a heartbeat. Uh, you know, that there's there's a lot that goes into it in a lot of circumstances. And I just hope and pray that I'm. I'm never one of those people that is called to that that kind of a death. But if I am, then I, I, I pray that God gives me the strength to get through it. I don't think it's a strange question to ask. I definitely think that that's on a lot of people's mind. But it's for me, it's a tough one to answer, right? Cause like I said, you don't want to. There's a lot of people who have been martyred for a lot of different reasons, and I don't want to invalidate their deaths or their feelings while going through that horrible thing. Did Christians die in the Holocaust? I mean, there's a lot of different groups that died in the Holocaust uh, besides just the ones that we talk about. There were a lot of different people that were targeted, so there, there's a lot of people. But again, it's one of those things where saying, well, Christians died during the Holocaust too. You know, we don't want to detract from the deaths that happened to those of the Jewish faith or those uh, there. There were also people who had disabilities or were LGBTQ plus who were targeted as well. So I, I don't want to detract from those events and be like, oh, well, Christians suffered too, right? Like it, that doesn't that doesn't further anyone's cause. So I try to I try to avoid that. You got to visit Auschwitz? I imagine that is a very solemn place. I'd like to go someday, um, but I imagine it's very hard to just to stomach, to breathe in, to experience. I, I imagine it is very overwhelming. When I think of the Colosseum, I mean, that's that's a terrible place, too, right? That's where a lot of people died for entertainment and a lot of other things. So, unfortunately for a lot of human history, they've been fascinated with killing people. Also, Christians, definitely. I mean, it's throughout all of history people have been killing people whether it be because they're christian whether because of their beliefs whether it be because of whatever it is i mean it's it's not unique not unique to christians it's a, it's a human experience unfortunately ever heard of emperor nero definitely heard a lot about nero i know that a lot of a lot of Christians, early day Christians, felt that he was the Antichrist, that that's who Revelations is written about, is Nero. Though I, I don't necessarily know that I prescribe to that. I, I've definitely seen convincing arguments that, that that is what Revelations is about. Uh, certainly interesting thoughts, if nothing else. Oh, that's not good. good Mortars. Enemy dropping into the AO. What do I hope they will do with me when I become a saint? <laughs> I don't think I've been asked that before. Um, 
you know, I, I really don't know. I, I haven't really thought that far ahead, right? Like, the goal the goal is to become a saint, so I guess whatever they want to assign me... Uh, I don't know that I'd want to be the saint of TikTok, to be honest. <laughs> that would definitely be a hard sainthood to endure, I am certain. Um... I like bees, but I'm pretty sure there's already already a saint of bees and beekeepers. Um, oh, you can definitely share it. No problem. This is always a place for sharing, sharing all sorts of things. A strange dream? That's fine. Someone out here? Where'd they go? Enemy dropping into the AO. Got him. All right, he's gonna poke his head out again. I'm going to get shot in the back. Head to the safe zone now. Bummer. Stay with me. Oh, shoot. We got the stuff moving in. Hope when I become a saint that they replace my coffin in this. They'll place your coffin in the Saint Gemma Church, so you can be with Saint Gemma. I don't know how you get to be in those basilicas. I know that they're they're certainly swanky and fancy, uh, but I don't know. I don't know how you get to be in the basilicas. So I, I have no idea how that happens. So I'm of no help there. I couldn't tell you how you get in there. I don't know that I'd call that strange. It's, it's okay to have passions and love for the saints and all that, right? So... Oop. Ooh! No, 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 no! Oh! Ah, oh, he saw me. 43 seconds! got to hang in there, Pink. Where are you? Oh. No, no, no. Don't get shot out of the air. Don't get shot out of the air. Got to survive. Got to survive for 15 seconds. There you go. Think I'll meet Saint Gemma after my death in heaven. Well, we'll definitely get to meet, uh, hopefully everyone, right? I I know that universalism is a heresy that has taken over a lot of the U.S., but you know we we hope that everyone makes it right. So nothing wrong with hoping that we'll meet everyone. The saints for sure, of course. Oh, man. Well, that guy can hold on for 30 more seconds. Fifteen. He might just do it. Two, one, we're back in it. You hope also your grandfather? Definitely. All right, what do we got here? We got circle closing in. My team's down there. 
Lots of people. Ooh, lots of people. All right, we gotta make this one count. No more second chances. Do you know what I experienced the past Lent in the church? No. What's that? All right, got one person back. Oh, no. Shoot. <laughs> that might be good game. We got we got one of our allies back, but I don't think that that's going to be enough. Not enough to win this one. After leaving the church, I saw one of the candles with St. Gemma on it. Ah, there it is. Unfortunately, my uh, screen is lagging a whole lot, so I think I'm going to cut this a little short because, uh, well, I don't want to stream a whole bunch of lag. Kind of dampens the mood a little bit, right? So I guess we'll just live with a short stream today. We'll do our quick ending prayers for the evening, and then I will possibly see you all tomorrow after... Ash Wednesday and after service. Here we go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this blessed day, and thank you for all that you do. Lord, we continue to pray for those in Turkey uh, those afflicted by the war in Russia and Ukraine. We pray for those who have run away from home or those who are lost from home and can't find their way back. Lord, help all those people who are lost and wandering. We pray for those who are homeless or are going hungry, those who don't have enough, Lord. Be with them and fill their, fill their stomachs with food and fill their body with spirit, Lord. And finally, we pray for those who have no one left to pray for them, those in purgatory awaiting entering into your everlasting kingdom, will do three Hail Marys. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Have a blessed day. Uh, make sure you get ready for Lent tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is a day of fasting and the first day of Lent as we prepare for Christ to come once again to the world and save us all. Have a blessed day. We'll see you all soon.